Shalom Yisrael. This is Brahmat Yahoo. I just wanted to take some time to speak on Kevin Samuels, who recently just passed away at, I believe, in his mid-50s. There is probably a lot of people rejoicing right now. Um, I don't think that it's in good taste to rejoice whenever anyone passes away. But what Kevin Samuels represents was a need to shake up this order of what's going on with the sisters these days, the successful, so-called successful sisters these days. Kevin Samuels was really only needed because there was an entitlement among these sisters and they needed a bit of reality. There's no elder women teaching the young sisters. And when I say young, I mean, you know, 40 and down. There's no eldership women teaching the young sisters how to be wives, teaching the young sisters how to love their husbands, take care of their home, love their children, train up their children. And so Kevin Samuels just fulfilled that void that has been missing from our community for so long. I'm not saying that I agreed with every single thing that he said. I don't know where he was spiritually. It's arguable that he was not necessarily a man of the most high. Um, all this high valued man situations and stuff like that, I don't necessarily agree with that because those are not, those are not what Kodesh men are all about according to the scriptures. So I could not agree with every single thing that he was saying but what he was doing was giving these unkodesh women a taste of reality and putting things back into perspective because the women their dreams and their value system was all messed up they want to work and go do all these things and have a high value man or a so-called high value man. In the olden days, women who wanted a high value man, it was maybe a man or two, it was a few men that were high value men. And so multiple women would come underneath the headship of one man. But in today's time, specifically in the U.S., where there's a should-be monogamy, women have a grandiose, entitled dream of having a high-valued man all to themselves. So, I also wanted to talk about, again, rejoicing when somebody passes away. And uh, I gotta give credit to uh, Watchman Yahoo from Watchman Reports, um, who gave me this consciousness, this wisdom. When Bishop Eddie Long passed away, there were so many Israelites saying, rejoicing, there were so many Israelites excited and you know he was a child molester and so on and so forth this that and the other all of the allegations that were coming against him the alleged allegations that were coming against him people were rejoicing i learned that rejoicing is not what you need to do when someone passes away especially inside of some wickedness what that should do is make you think or make one think 
about their own salvation. It should put some fear of the Most High Yah into people. So, I do not think that Israelites should be rejoicing, especially when a brother unknown about who he is and who his nation is passes away. There's one more interesting thing about Kevin Samuel's death. He died from cardiac arrest. Now, what is cardiac arrest related to on a mental page? Now, there was a book uh, by a woman named Louise Hay uh, who wrote a book called You Can Heal Your Life. And in the back of the book, she attributes many of the illnesses that we experience to things that we're thinking mentally. And so she has a little grid. And so I'll read that uh, about the heart, right? So the heart represents the center of love and security. What happens when there's a heart attack? A heart attack is the squeezing all the joy out of the heart in favor of money or position, etc. And what are heart problems? Long-standing emotional problems, lack of joy, hardening of the heart, belief in strain and stress. And when I read that last night, I said, that brother was definitely struggling with joy. We don't know what happened, how he came about to being who he was. But we've got to take care of our mental health, right? The scripture says in Philippians, rejoice in Yahuwah always. Again, I say rejoice. What does that mean? It means to regain your joy in Yahuwah. It means to regain your joy. So even if you are thinking that you're bringing a word and or you're you're doing something righteous for the most high, it needs to be out of a place of love. It needs to be out of a place of joy because your body might not be able to take the work that you're doing if it's not coming from the right place. Shalom Yisrael.